What is going on, Cryptic Crew? This is your boy Cryptic Flash here, bringing you guys episode number four of our Pokemon Road to Ranks series. You guys, if you're hyped, make sure you hit that like button down below. Also, subscribe if you're new to join the Cryptic Crew. In last episode, you guys, episode number three, we took our first L. You guys, we took our first L. So so far in the series, I believe we went two and zero, two and zero, two and one. So that's six and one. Um, so not not bad for uh, just getting just getting started in the format. Uh, six and one is not a bad record. As you guys can see in the layout below, we are changing things up a little bit, you guys. We have swapped up the team, as you guys can see, and I'm gonna go into the uh, the team preview here, um, so that you guys can see the rental code if you ever want to use it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and manage our rental teams. Uh, it is this one. Team two. So we're gonna check this team out. This team consists of a couple uh, couple components to it. You guys can see the, the team ID down there. Um, but it's going to consist of Trick Room as well as Sun. So um, and DD Hatterene are kind of the duo that will work together to set up the Trick Room. And the Trick Room is really beneficial for Ndd Hatterene, Torkoal, and uh, Glashier. But it also has uh, the Sun component. So if you guys don't know, uh, Venusaur has uh, his hidden ability is Chlorophyll, which means uh, he has the speed boost in the sunlight. So um, a cool dynamic there with him and Torkoal. Uh, and then Urshifu is just a really, really good Pokemon. Um, so he's on the team. He's got Focus Sash. Um, you guys can see the items and the uh, moves right there. But I am going to just go ahead and uh, jump right into things here. I'm hoping we don't have any internet issues because uh, last episode I had a couple and uh, they counted as losses on my end because I must have been having internet issues. Uh, and that's, that's what happened. So we're gonna jump in here. I did practice a little bit with this team off screen. We lost our last match. That's why uh, we're, we're mid uh, tier six. Um, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping to kind of keep keep grinding you guys i'm hoping to keep crushing this thing i'm trying to watch some uh, other vgc players and see uh kind of what what different pokemon uh what their niches are um and whatnot but uh so i'm, I'm trying to learn you guys i really am i really am because i want to perform well for you i want to perform well for you i don't know what music i want to listen to <laughs> meow I've gone on my soapbox about Team Yell. I do not think that Team Yell is an appropriate team name. I think it needs to be Team Scream. I mean, it rhymes, and it's the same concept as Team Yell. You're screaming, you're yelling, and it rhymes. I mean, come on. Come on, Game Freak, what are you doing? All right, a battle against Jwank. Okay, now this is a fast team. Now, last time we saw Togekiss, now he does have a Kofagrigus too. Uh, but last time we saw Togekiss, uh, it was a weakness policy and it swept us. So that is super scary. He's got that um, Kofagrigus, which could counter our Trick Room. I don't like that. What? I feel like with this, the Weavile, the Dragapult, and the gosh darn Volcarona, Trick Room could actually be really useful in this match. Um... I think I'm actually going to lead with Sun and a Wide Lines Venusaur with uh, Sleep Powder because I think putting some things to sleep could be really useful. And we might have Trick Room in the back uh, with Hatterene. And part of me doesn't even because Indeedy is good for the lead. Um, you just follow me in Trick Room, and that's usually how you set it up. But uh, if we don't have Indeedy, Hatterene last year might be might be the play. Last year is so weak to. Scraggy and Volcarona though. But he's good on Dragapult and Togekiss. This is a tough one. Otherwise we have Urshifu. And Urshifu doesn't need... Uh, that's what I think I'm going to do. Urshifu doesn't need Trick Room. He's a pretty fast Pokemon. He's got the Focus Sash. Um, I think that that's what I like. And I'm going to just try to start this off by putting things to sleep. That's going to be my game plan you guys. I did update my card from last episode I believe. Um... Uh, so we're we're styling out here, you guys. We're styling. 
All right, my guy. What do you have for me? Togekiss Stragapult. Okay. So, I think I want to go ahead and put the gosh darn Togekiss to sleep. I don't know what Dragapult is going to do. Um, I know it gets Will-O-Wisp X um, as far as uh, some unique moves that it could go for. I think I'm just going to go for the go Eruption. Does he go into Torkoal, into the Torkoal slot? I do not know. Um, I don't, we're gonna, we're gonna play it safe and just go for the eruption. We're not gonna make any, uh, rash predictions. And then we're gonna just put the Togekiss to sleep. Cause I think that that thing is pretty scary. And he could go for a max airstream into my Venusaur and I do not want that. So we're gonna go ahead and try to put this thing to sleep. And we hit it thanks to the wide lens. And I'm curious as to what this Dragapult is gonna, gonna go for. U-turn, okay. Into Venusaur. That's fine. We eat those. We eat those for days. And then Eruption is going to come off. And it's going to hurt. Whatever it hits, it's going to hurt. I feel like he was going to go for the Air Slash into my boy. Or Volcarona. Interesting. That's not going to like uh, Eruption though. And I'm going to try to put that thing to sleep now. Yeah, Torkoal, putting in the work. Okay, uh, I'm going to go for another Eruption. And I'm going to try to Sleep Powder this Volcarona. Or do I protect? I honestly think I protect because I think Volcarona is going to go into the Venusaur spot. Um, there's no reason not to protect. I'm going for Eruption. Volcarona, I don't think is going to do anything too dangerous to Tor Torkoal. And Torkoal can pick up this double uh, double KO, and we're going to protect Venusaur, because I don't want to risk anything on this Volcarona. I don't know what it's going to do. And we're going to scout. Flamethrower. We dodging. We protecting. Togekiss is fast asleep, and this is going to be a double KO for Torkoal, you guys. Sleep is so powerful in this game, you guys. In VGC, sleep is so powerful. We take out the Togekiss, take out the Volcarona, and now it's Dragapult versus versus us, you guys. We're out here. We are out here. So that was a really good uh, kind of series of events there. There was no reason for me to attack with Venusaur after seeing the damage that Torkoal did. Um, and so Protect was uh, kind of like a, a, a safe, no, no harm play. Um, I don't think Dragapult has anything too scary. I'm going to go ahead and go for... Let's go for the eruption again. I'm gonna go ahead and try to sleep this Scrafty because kind of spooky. I'm not gonna lie. Scrafty is a little spooky. Um, but Dragapult spooky too because I have Indeedy in the back, but I do have the gosh darn Urshifu. So I'm gonna go after the Scrafty here because I have Urshifu just in case things go south. Um, and we hit the sleep powder, that's great. That's why you need some kind of an accuracy boosting move uh, for, for uh, Sleep Powder. Just because it's so inaccurate and that can be a very frustrating part of it. Um, I should have gone for Heat Wave. Frustrating. Um, but if you can get something to boost the accuracy, it makes it really effective. Yeah, I should have gone Heat Wave. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to go ahead and uh, for the Heat Wave now. And we're going to try to put the Dragapult to sleep. We do outspeed and we put it to sleep, you guys. Venusaur, MVP, my dude. MVP. All right, that's beautiful. Now we have two Pokemon asleep in front of us. No, we have a Dragon Dance in Scrafty. That's yeah, spooky. That is definitely kind of spooky. I wonder if we outspeed. A plus one, a Scrafty at plus one. We're going to Heat Wave. It's going to luckily hit both Pokemon and almost take out that Scrafty. And we're going to just go ahead and go for it again. And we're going to see if we can put... You know what? We're going to sludge bomb it. There's no reason to put it to sleep if we can just knock it out. And there's no risk of missing sludge bomb. And it feels like the right move. It feels like the right move. And I like feeling good about my moves, you guys. I like feeling good about my moves. Okay, he's Dynamaxing that Scrafty. You know he is. He already got the D-Dance up. He's going to be Dynamaxing, I think. Okay, okay, look at him. 
Look at him. He's trying to keep his pants up. He needs a belt. That man needs a belt. And now he needs a gigantic belt. Look at that. Look at that HP, man. That's nothing. That's nothing. And we outspeed. Sludge Bomb comes off. And we get the knockout, you guys. And we get the knockout. So we are sitting in a very, very, very good spot. Uh, there is really nothing he can do to... Uh, take out four of our Pokemon. He does get the Torkoal knockout. I will say that much. He did get one of our guys. Um, but I think we just go and we're gonna go out in style, you guys. We're gonna go Hatterene. We're gonna G Max. We're gonna Max Spite, Smite, whatever it is. I don't know what the what uh, Hatterene's signature move is. I think it's G Max Smite. Yeah, it is. We're gonna Smite you. And we're gonna go for the. This smite will kill. And I don't want to risk uh, losing a Pokemon. I know I, I I like to preserve. There's something about preserving differential for me. It it feels like a win if I can at least uh, preserve a little bit. So. Um, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna protect. I don't want him to get another knockout because it feels like he pulled it closer than it needed to be. And I don't like that feeling. I'm competitive, you guys. I like to win by a lot. We're gonna go for the protect. He's probably annoyed that I went for the protect just because he's wondering why. Um, Dragon Pulse on Venusaur. So I don't think he has anything for my Hatterene. And we are going to obliterate him with this G-Max Smite, you guys. That is going to be it. We we win our first game, you guys. Nice. I was nervous. Uh, I always get nervous uh, starting with new teams, just because you got to get used to the team, right? You need to know what its strengths are, what its weaknesses are, and how to play it. Um, especially when your opponents bring a whole bunch of different Pokemon that you don't expect. And you don't necessarily always know who they're going to lead with. That's something I do struggle with is figuring out who they're going to lead with, right? Um, but if you can figure that out and you know your team, you can actually do really well. And that's why I, I always get tempted, right? So um, we do three videos with the same team. And this is a very rainy team. I'm going to lead... Venusaur. I'm gonna keep Torkoal in the back because if he read, uh, leads rain, I want to bring Torkoal out to set the sun and put some things to sleep. So I'm gonna lead Venusaur. Urshifu? I feel like he leads a stinking Arcanine and I don't really have a good answer for it. Hmm, got a very fast team other than that Ferrothorn. Or do I just go for the Trick Room? I think we just go for the Trick Room. What does he have to stop it? A Taunting Ferrothorn. But if he goes for Taunt, we just Mystical Fire a uh, Helping Hand with Pattery. I like that play. And we're going to bring Urshifu. And we are going to bring Torkoal for the, for the Sun. Just in case. Just in case. Forgot what I was saying. I get passionate when it comes to battling, you guys. If you don't notice. If you don't notice. My mind, it feels like it's going a mile a minute. Just trying to kind of take everything in and think of possible moves to do and whatnot. But what do you got for me, my friend? A Pelipper Ludicolo. So this is exactly what, uh, what I was kind of wanting to avoid, right? So, um... I don't know if Ludicolo gets taunt. I think it does. So what I'm going to do is follow me and set up the uh, trick room. Because I don't think it gets taunt, but I don't know, right? So we're going to follow me, the NDD, and we are going to trick room with our beautiful uh, Hattering. We're going to see what this man goes for. I think he's going to go for uh, a Hurricane, probably. Hurricane Scald. Hurricane Hydro Pump. G-Max or uh, Dynamax, the Ludi Colo. That would be interesting. That would definitely be interesting. 
I honestly wouldn't be upset though if we get our Trick Room up and they knock out Ndidi. Because then I just go into Torkoal, set up the sun, and start erupting. And G-Max smiting. Oh, he tried to fake out, and the Psychic Terrain pre uh, prevents priority moves. So, unfortunately on my opponent's end, uh, he did not know that. So, we're going to go ahead and get our Trick Room up, which is huge for us. Because now we go ahead and Gigantamax our Hatterene, and just start killing some things. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Do I expanding force into something? I don't think whatever he goes for, I don't think is going to kill... Uh, I don't think it's going to live my hattery. I really don't. We're going to go... We're going to just help in hand into the Pelipper. Honestly, I don't want to over predict... I just don't know if the Pelipper is gonna live my G Max Smite. I don't want it to. Um, we're gonna kill the Pelipper. Just because that's his rain setter, and once that thing's gone, um, his rain team is kinda hindered. So I feel like this is a strong start for us. I feel like it definitely is. Um, but it depends on what he has in the back, right? A Ferrothorn with. The gosh darn gyro ball. We get the helping hand. Uh, couldn't hurt because now we have the, the trick room up. So this should kill the Pelipper. There's no way this thing lives. And it's Focus Sash. That's what I was kind of afraid of. That's why I wanted to double into it. Um, but I talked myself out of it. So that's shame on me. If they could hit themselves in confusion. That is the power of uh, G Max Smite is confusion and confusion is a very annoying ability or uh status he does get the burn that's unfortunate and we get one of these two okay we do get one of the two so what i'm gonna do now is i am going to expanding force into the pelipper and then g max smite into the ludicolo because Indeedy will get the knockout if Pelipper doesn't protect. And then Ludicolo is going to take a, uh, a big big hit right here. And I do need to remember that my opponent does have the opportunity to uh, Dynamax still. And I do not. So that's that's pretty big right there. And Indeedy gets the expanding force. Nice. So at least Pelipper and... Ooh! I forgot! Expanding force hits both of your opponents. So that's, that's great to know. So Ndidi actually picks up the knockout. Um, that was the play originally. That was a mistake on my end. I should have just used Expanding Force um, and G-Max Smite into the Pelipper. That was the play right there. But it's okay. Um, Guard of War, we're fine against. And Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is the scary, uh, scary Pokemon right here. Psychic Surge. What I'm going to do is follow me, the Ndidi. And uh, Max Flare the Ferrothorn. That makes the most sense in my eyes. And uh, I think that that's, that's the play right here. This man goes for. I don't know what you go for if he, you're him. Right? I know you go Gyro Ball into the Adderine. But what do you do with Gardevoir? Unless he brought Gardevoir for uh, Urshifu. But I don't know if Gardevoir is a good, a good Pokemon in this matchup against my team. He's going to Dynamax. What is he Dynamaxing? Probably Pharaoh. Nope, Gardevoir. Interesting. I guess that is the, the offensive threat here. Usually you Dynamax your offensive uh, mods. Just curious as to what this thing's going to do. I'm gonna follow me with NDD. There's the gyro ball. We eat those. And we should knock out the pharaoh right here. So now it's a 4v1. Trick room is whoa! We do not knock out the pharaoh. Trick room's still up. 
the question. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, and DD is gone. I think we have one more one more turn of trick room. And this is when we get our Torkoal in here and erupt. Like a boss. We are going to erupt like a boss. Alright, good on you, Pharaoh. Living a max flare from my hattering. I'm impressed. Color me impressed, my friend. I wish there was a way to check to see how much uh, is left. How much trick room is left. I think it's one turn. I hope it's one turn. I think it goes for five turns. We had three turns of Dynamax. Yeah, it didn't say anything. So I'm gonna, um, Pokemon. Oh, info. Yep, this is the last turn of Trick Room. So that actually worked out perfectly for us. Uh, we're gonna just go for the Eruption and go for the, uh, uh, uh Expanding Force. Um, Dazzling Gleam? Okay, that's neutral. We'll go Dazzling Gleam. And Torkoal should actually go first. Oh! Ah, oh, we living! We living! Hatterene is living like a champ. Torkoal gets the big, big damage. And we get a Dazzling Gleam off. That's huge. And Burn actually, I think. Oh! Man, quit! I think. I hope I didn't quit. We had that one. Woo! That's doing damage. He really quit? I hope it's not my internet, you guys. I will be so upset. I'll be so upset. We had that one. Oh, please give it to us. I'm gonna do one more, because I think we have time. Yes. Give us the win. Give us the win. What? Ooh, we are great ball tier, my friends. We are great ball tier. Yes. Yes. We got the win, you guys. We got the win. Shoot. Shoot. I really do enjoy this team. It's really fun. I love, I love Trick Room. And I love Venusaur. So, I mean, yeah. I'll do it, you guys. I'll do it. Trick Room plus Venusaur and Sun? Yeah. Please. I am glad I got to showcase uh, both both aspects of this team in this video. Um, because it's 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 good stuff, you guys. It really is. Alright, can we make this three in a row? I'm curious. Can we make this three in a row? We're gonna we're gonna set the mood. Oh, 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 yeah. Setting the mood for this final bout, you guys. All right, let's hook up with someone. I'm eager. I'm excited. Ah. Let's do this. I'll say that is uh, one downside is how long it seems to take uh, to find a battle. To find a battle, it takes quite a while. Quite a while, but we found one. Mold. We are battling mold, you guys. I think in a way we all are battling mold. All are battling mold. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's come fake a taunt. No, um, uh, Tapu Fini gets taunt. I feel like I need to bring my son. But he's gonna lead in Cineroar. I think I need to do Trick Room and have Sun in the back. I think that's what needs to happen. For the reason that we need Venusaur for Tapu Fini, we need Torkoal for Metagross. I guess we could do Urshifu, but what do I do? I didn't I have not brought glass shear at all. It'd be pretty decent. That stinking Feeny that I'm I'm nervous about. 
I don't want to lead Torkoal Venusaur because I know he's going to fake out the Venusaur because he doesn't want uh, me getting my beautiful Sleep Powder off. I think this is the play, but I think he's going for Taunt. And I said he's going to lead Incineroar. And so I bring my Pokemon that are weak to Dark. Does that make sense? That doesn't make sense to me. Mold, what do you have for me? I don't feel like this is going to be a good one, guys. I should have just ended it. Oh my gosh, look at his eyes. Metagross and Insin. Okay. Okay. I need to go for the Trick Room. I need to go for the Trick Room. Psychic Surge does prevent Fake Out, actually. So that is something that I just remembered. If I can follow me and get our Trick Room off, I think we're in decent, decent shape. I'm going to go ahead and follow me. And Trick Room. This is scary. Not going to lie. I will not lie. Because you can't Fake Out. Which means that I think we essentially get a free, a free Trick Room up. Which is great for us. So it actually did end up working out well for us. He is going to Dynamax. Metagross, probably. You don't Dynamax an Incineroar. Never seen one. Yeah, there's the Metagross. Okay. Okay. It's all right. We got him to Dynamax early. That's, that's something. All right. Fake out. Doesn't work in the terrain. He did not know that. I didn't know that until like two seconds ago. Follow me, so the Metagross will attack my NDD. Hopefully knock it out. Ooh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, that increases your defense. That's a little scary. I'm not gonna lie. Trick room. All right, well, that's good for us. So now what we do is we follow me, the NDD, and we Dynamax, G-Max, Smite. Oh, I really want to hit this Metagross. See, I don't think he attacks NDD. I think he's going to just go for Hattery. And so, would that be a free switch into, into Torkoal? Or I just go for follow me, let NDD die so I can get a free switch into Torkoal. We'll go ahead and G-Max, Smite. The Incineroar. Just because it's it's not going to do anything to Metagross. I can almost guarantee it. We're going to get the Confusion on Metagross, which will be nice. A G-Max Smite into Incineroar will do a lot of damage. And we have the Trick Room up. And we'll follow me. So hopefully in DD he goes down and then we can bring out Torkoal for the Metagross. That's the thought right there. That is the thought right there. Okay. Okay. Follow me. You're going to faint by Incineroar. We go first. We're not going to knock this thing out, I don't think. Yeah. He's living. He's living. We get the confusion. And Metagross is confused. So hopefully one of these two can hit themselves in confusion. He has a berry, so he will not be hitting himself in confusion. Oh, I'm sorry. The berry was for his health. He is hitting himself in confusion. And we get... No, I actually want Metagross to attack. Yes. That means we get our free switch into Torkoal, which is huge. Which is huge. Defense is raising. Sorry, NDD. It's for the cause. Torkoal, get in there. Get in there, Torkoal. The drought comes up. We're going to go ahead and G-Max Smite into the Insin. Just in case he wants to Max Guard. I, I'm, I'm tempted to Max Flare into Metagross. But if he Max Guards, that would be uh, a huge, huge upset for us. So... We're going to go ahead, and this is actually his last turn of Dynamaxing as well. Woo! 
Eruption, my guy. Oracle wrecking lives over here. Alright, so G-Max Smite goes off. I think he is going to be going uh, for Max Steel Spike into our Hatterene. Which... Unless he gets hit. Get hit, get hit. Aw, uh, it's okay. I don't want to win on hacks. But uh, that is a part of playing Hatterene. So Hatterene does go down. That's unfortunate. So now it is a... Shoot, it's a... 2v3. My opponent has the advantage right here. Not gonna lie. I'm a little spooked. I'm a little spooked. I think we have one more turn. No, we have two more turns of Trick Room. That's interesting. Comfe. Oh, this Comfe is gonna do some things. Okay, I'm gonna go Eruption. And I'm actually gonna Sludge Bomb the Comfe. Sludge Bomb into Comfe. I think he's gonna outspeed Venusaur because we have the sun up and that means we're wicked fast, but we're still under Trick Room, which means we're wicked slow, which is unfortunate. But it's alright. It is all right, my friends. Oral healing. I don't know what that does. Heal Metagross? It does. Interesting. Interesting. You're not Dynamax, though, and we're going for an eruption. It don't matter. It don't matter if you're Floral healing. And we're going to Sludge Bomb into the Comfe, uh, knocking it out, which is huge. Which is huge. Who's your last Pokemon? Moltres? I know Moltres is a pretty common Pokemon. There it is. But he can Dynamax it. So what I'm actually going to do is Eruption. And Protect because I think this is the last turn. Brick Room, it is. So um, we're going to go ahead Eruption. This Torkoal is still going to outspeed and protect the Venusaur because next turn we will outspeed this thing because um, Brick Room will be done. So he protects. I protect. I Eruption. That's fine. It's fine. Who does he go for though, right? Does he go for the Venusaur or the Torkoal? I'm going to pretend he's going to go for the Venusaur. Um, see, Venusaur really doesn't hurt this thing too much. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Eruption. It would just suck if he hit me. But we're gonna Sleep Powder, right? And hopefully we're gonna hit. Fingers crossed. Sleep Powder, it does connect, that's huge. And we're gonna get an Eruption off. That is huge, you guys. Eruption. Burn, Moltres. Burn. Berserk. Such an insane ability. So what? Every time you get hit, you uh you your stats get boosted? Insane. Insane. Sludge Bomb will go off. We do still outspeed because the sun is up, and we will pull the W, my friends. We will pull the three in a row. I actually, uh, I was a little skeptical on that one, um, just for the mere fact that I had no idea what, uh, what, what he was going to do. He's, he's, he's a wild card, you guys, and his eyes, those eyes mess with me, but we won. We're 3-0 in this episode, you guys. We have been honestly crushing it. So far, four episodes, we've only lost once, you guys. So that's, that's pretty awesome. If you guys enjoyed and you want to see more Road to Ranked BGC format, Make sure you hit that like button down below. Also, subscribe if you're new, you guys. I'm, I'm trying to pump out this content. I'm going to be streaming soon. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are excited as well. But that is going to be it for me, guys. This is Cryptic Flash. I'm out.